Members of the state Senate convening today to honor Michigan service members through legislation and a special ceremony. NBC 25's Brittany Shannon in Lansing with more from the 19th annual Memorial Day service where a mid-Michigan native addressed members of the legislature and the families of fallen service members. Well, Bill, it was a day of honor and remembrance here at the Capitol today. People hearing the stories of those who have passed on and witnessing a true American hero. It's one of the most moving things I've ever been involved in. The halls of the state Capitol echoing the sounds of bagpipes and draped in red, white and blue. All to remember Michigan's nine fallen service members over the past year. Joseph Lilly, United States Army. Their ultimate sacrifice, something Thursday's keynote speaker can relate to. Army Staff Sergeant Travis Mills is a Vassar native. He lost both arms and legs during his third deployment in Afghanistan. At Thursday's Memorial Day service, he addressed the teary-eyed family members of Michigan's fallen. I know what they're going through, the families up there, because the brotherhood and the bonds you make in any military service. Sergeant Mills speaking from his heart, but not without his coined sense of humor. I joined Toastmasters just to try to work on not saying, you know, um, like, yeah. Uh. Laughs aside, Travis's story of strength and resilience is the inspiration behind a bill sponsored by Senator Mike Green. Senate Bill 209 would establish a tax exemption for veteran fundraisers. One of the uh, guys from the VSO was there and told Travis's story, and he had almost had the whole committee crying. The chairman told me afterwards, I'd have given that kid anything he wants. Sergeant Mills plans to continue giving of himself, allowing his new normal to inspire and reach out to others. Staff Sergeant Mills says he hopes to be a mentor to other amputees. He was in Boston serving after the marathon bombings there as well. In Lansing, Brittany Shannon, NBC 25 News.